Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. A very special edition of Steph's beauty stash today as today marks two years that I have been here on YouTube making videos for y'all, beauty of course related, and then some extras sprinkled in between. I just want to say a huge thank you so much for all of your love and support these past two years. All of my new friends and my old friends from the bottom of my heart guys it means the world that you tune in each day or week or whenever you can and watch my videos whether you like them or not you're still here supporting and I thank you so so much I cannot wait to see what the next year brings for my channel I have honestly just learned so much I've been so inspired this has just taken me on a completely different life journey that I didn't even know was possible or was out there, but I have been having so much fun. I've grown so much. I've learned so much, and there's still just so much more to learn. So guys, thank you once again. Um, my winner of the Norvina Volume 5 palette, I'm not too sure what time this video is going up, but that winner will be randomly selected this evening. I want to say the winner will have already been chosen by the time this video goes up. That giveaway is happening at 7 p.m. today. This is Wednesday, uh, June 16th when I'm sitting down to film this video. And I was supposed to have this video up this morning, but the footage that I shot from yesterday, I didn't really like the way the audio came out, so here I am having to redo it. It's all good. Let's jump into this brand new eyeshadow palette. This is the Buxom and Ash K. Holm eyeshadow palette. Now, Ash K. Holm is a celebrity makeup artist, and she's actually a Buxom makeup artist as well. And this is what her and the Buxom team have created for us. So if you like neutrals, you're covered. If you like some pops of color, you're definitely covered as well. Now, guys, this is not only a first impression of this beautiful eyeshadow palette, but it's also going to be a brand first impression for me and Buxom. I believe I've only tried one thing from Buxom and it was like a sample liquid lipstick, which I got another sample liquid lipstick, so we'll be trying that out today, but I don't have anything from Buxom. So when I saw this palette online uh, Sunday morning on Ulta, I thought, you know what, I like it, that's pretty. That looks like a great a spring, summer eyeshadow palette. And I love supporting collaborations. So I looked up Ash K. Home on Instagram. Girl has almost a million followers, so she's definitely doing something right and beautiful. She is stunning, the looks she creates are stunning, and I thought this would be the perfect way for me to dive into the world of Buxom. And while doing so, while picking up this palette, I also picked up two other goodies that I've honestly been wanting to try for a while. Now, this is the Primer Infused, this is the Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush, and I picked up the shade Mika Nose. Just like a really nice pale peach shade with a slight little shimmer to it. This blush was popular, or I think it, was, it came out about two years ago. Everybody raved about it, and still I hear people and see people here on YouTube using it. They love it. I want to say this blush comes in like six or seven different shades, but this is the one I thought would be best suited for today's eyeshadow palette, and I think think these are like $22. They're pretty much standard for like, you know, um, Ulta and Sephora pricing. And I really like the clear packaging. Like this is a brand that did clear packaging right because there's a nice little weight to it. It doesn't feel cheapy or flimsy at all. So right away, that was one of the first things that I noticed. And then I believe this product came out last year and it was very appropriately titled for 2020. This is the Staycation Vibes Bronzer and there were two shades in this one. I actually ended up ordering the wrong shade. So when it was delivered yesterday morning, I didn't even swatch it. I just looked at it and then I looked online and I was reading some of the reviews and people that were kind of like my skin tone, they were getting this one. This one is called Rooftop Tan and the one I had was Backyard 
bronze or something like that. I, I don't remember. It had the word backyard in it. So I checked to see if my local Ulta's had it in stock. They did. So ran over there. Quick exchange. This was the last one they had in the shade too. So um, very fortunate to have gotten the correct shade. And since I shot this video yesterday, I have already tried all three of these products, but I will wait and save my opinions once I am going through applying the products. But I like that. I like the little imprinting there on the pan, a nice little swirl. And you see you kind of have like a darker shade and then a lighter shade in the center. And again, the packaging on this, really substantial. Like there is a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel cheapy, flimsy. I love it. I think it is so pretty. Definitely been wanting to try this for a while. And uh, we're also going to be trying out on camera today, guys, the Dior uh, Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. And I have the shade 1N in this one. I've used this about three times now, and um, I just want to try it on camera for you guys, just because I've never used it on camera, and I want to see... I want to see what it's all about because I will say the first couple times that I used it, I wasn't really impressed. Um, so I'm going to try, I'm going to try something a little bit different with it today and we'll see how it works. All right, guys, um, I've already been outdoors, obviously, since I got this palette yesterday to swatch the palette in natural lighting so that you can see what all of the shades are going to look like on a fair to light skin tone. There are, there are 12 different shades in this palette and it retails for $39. Now these are primer infused eyeshadows. So I am not going to be wearing any eyeshadow primer today because it does say it has a primer built into it. You are getting a mixture of mattes and shimmer metallics. I like the color story so far. I think if you're one who really doesn't gravitate towards color, then you're going to find that this is a really nice palette to just give you those pops of color here and there. So excited to play with it. It does come with a mirror on the opposite side and um, it is like the cardboard packaging. So let's jump into this guys. I already have my makeup on. I am wearing the latest from Soul Body Face and Body Makeup. I have the shade Fair 4 in this one. Already done a review on it so definitely check that out. So let's start applying this new makeup. We're going to start with the cheek products first and then I will jump into the two look eye tutorial tutorial with the Ash K Home and Buxom eyeshadow palette. If you want to see all these goodies in action, keep on watching. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, I already have my foundation on, concealer, and some loose setting powder. That loose setting powder is the Huda Beauty one, and I have it on my T-zone and under my eye area. I have not yet applied the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder, but we will do that in a second. I want to first go in with the Staycations Bronzer. Again, this is the shade Rooftop Tan. And since I want kind of like an all-over bronzed kind of look, I'm going to take that on my BK Beauty 103. This is a large powder brush that I feel is perfect for bronzer when you don't want to be too precise with your bronzer. That is providing a beautiful wash of color. In the pan, I really like the shade that it is in the pan. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer but without the scent. So if you didn't like the scent of that one, which I love the scent of that one. I don't like the scent of their matte one, the Manoi Butter Bronzer, but uh, this one has no scent. <laughs> so that's providing some beautiful warmth. Beautiful warmth with a subtle sheen to it. Those are the vibes I'm getting. Really bronzing up this forehead. I have been working on my tan. <laughs> I've been going to the beach on the weekends. I live about an hour and a half away from our local beach. So it's easy just to head out there for the day. Do a little bit on my nose. I'm never precise with my nose contour bronzer. I just pretty much go up and down one side and then right here on the center. A little bit under as well. I do right here. A little bit down here. I even have like my beach hair going on. <laughs> I'm actually getting ready to also change up my hair Friday. 
major changes. All right, so let's try this Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush. Again, I have the shade Mykonos. Looks like a very pretty shade. Very complimentary to pretty much all types of looks. That's why I went with this peach shade. Peach is really like a universal shade. You know, it can pretty much go either way. Okay, a lot comes off, so be careful. I'm using the Ruffer 04. Ooh, okay, so I definitely got a lot. Let me dab a little bit over here too. Now, this is a primer-infused blush, so what I've heard, because it's been out for a couple years, is that it really has great stain power. Like, this will last. So this might be something that I travel with next month when I go on vacation. Now, I, don't, I haven't picked up any more product. I'm just using what was on there. I think I dipped in way too much. So this will be enough for both cheeks. Do you guys wear a lot of makeup when you go, like, on beach vacations? Sometimes I don't. Like, I, I'm a fearful flyer, so... I tend to put my makeup on in the plane because it distracts me and I take my sweet time <laughs> because usually the plane rides are like three or four hours long and um, to keep my nerves in check that helps me out a lot it helps me to de-stress but I don't know if I'll be able to do that this time not too sure like what the mask situation is I am fully vaccinated so um, I don't know I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that this time around but when I get there, when I get to the destination, I don't always wear a lot of makeup, at least not during the day. I don't like the way makeup, like foundation feels when I'm out there in the sun and the sand. Like, and then I need to apply sunscreen on top of it again because you're supposed to reapply like every 80 to 90 minutes. I just don't like the way it feels. So I often tend to not wear uh, makeup when I go to the beach. So I don't know. It'll be... I'm hoping I can maybe do a video while I'm over there. Uh, maybe vlog a little. At least do like a get ready with me or something like that. That's what I am planning. But it's also my vacation and I don't know that I'm going to want to work. <laughs> okay, so beautiful. I didn't have to dip back in twice to do both cheeks. So it's very pigmented and a little bit is definitely going to go a long way. And I really like the flush of color that it's giving to my cheeks. Now, before I jump into highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Dior No Powder Powder. And this is the shade 1N. 1N is typically what I use in Dior concealer and foundation. And I'm going to be taking this on a Wet n Wild fluffy powder brush. And just swirl it over. Kind of help to diffuse everything. Now, I bought this powder because I've been watching, like, binge-watching Samantha March videos. I love that she moved to Las Vegas. Like, I think that's going to be the best thing for her. No offense to Iowa, but if it gets that cold all the time in Iowa, yeah, I can definitely see why I uh, didn't really want to stay. I can't imagine living in a very cold climate where you have to... Um, shovel snow, plow the snow, get it off your driveway in your car every morning. I mean, I would definitely be late to work every day. <laughs> okay, so that powder kind of just brought everything together, kind of just diffused everything. It says that it's supposed to be like a blurring powder. Now, what I have noticed in wearing this powder the last a few days is that it doesn't give me a glow. It's more of just like a diffused blurred effect. Um, whereas, let me grab this other powder. Whereas these other two powders, the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder, right here, this, this is a beautiful powder that I hate to love because I know it doesn't work on all skin tones and it's only available in one shade. And then this is the Hourglass High Glass Finishing Powder. Both of these are like spot on, super similar. Um, but these give me more of a glow versus this Dior No Powder. It kind of just sets everything. Maybe there is a slight hint of a glow, but it's more diffusing and blurring. So if you were wondering about the powder, so far it looks nice. It is playing well with the other products. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit of Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh, it feels so good. I'm filming this a little bit early this morning so that it's not so hot. And I actually think I'm going to be 
moving my beauty room. I'm going to probably flip flop my beauty room with my office because it's way cooler over there and the AC can stay on over there because it's whisper quiet versus this one that I have right here. It's just too loud. So let me grab a highlighter and then we will get started with look number one with the Ash K Home and Buxom eyeshadow palette. In case you're wondering, the highlighter I went in with is the Fenty highlighter in the shade Hustla Baby. All right, guys, so here is this gorgeous palette, and you just saw those arm swatches in outdoor lighting. Let's see. Um, let's just start with the colorful first, just because I'm dying to dip into some color. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to go in with Royalty. And I'm going to do just a talk through on this one because it is a little cool right now. So I think I can manage to get through uh, this eye tutorial today without overheating. <laughs> we'll see. Fingers crossed. And I'm going to be taking the shade Royalty on a BK Beauty uh, 203 brush. And I'm going to pack that all over the lid. Again, I am not wearing eyeshadow primer. I have like a little bit of foundation and concealer on just... You know what naturally gets put there in the process but I did not purposely put any eyeshadow primer just because these do say they are primer infused as is the blush as is the bronzer so it seems to be packing on pretty well I think it is true to color as it is in the pan I'm not taking it too high up. I'm just focusing it on this area. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is we're going to go in with the matte black, and this is called Smokin'. And I'm going to take that on a Refer 13. And I'm going to start focusing that on the outer corner and kind of deepening up the crease. Now I know a lot of you have probably tried Buxom Cosmetics before. I am probably the last person who has not tried Buxom. <laughs> what are some of your favorite products? Does Buxom make foundation? I don't think I saw a Buxom foundation or I probably would have bought it to try it out. So maybe that's something in the future that um, I can most definitely try for you guys if they ever release a foundation. Or if they do, let me know which one it is and, and I'll be happy to try it out. A concealer too. Guys, tell me this, because I remember when Buxom Cosmetics came out, are they affiliated with Bare Minerals? I always thought that they were the same brand. This was just a different branch. Do you guys know anything about that? Like, If you do, leave it in the comments. I forgot to Google it before coming on, but um, I always thought that they were affiliated with each other. I have no idea. I'm going to go back in with Royalty. Just a little bit up here and on top of that black. This is going to be our smoky eye today. All right, so now that we got a good blend, you'll notice I didn't take it up too high or too far out. I wanna keep this kind of rounded off. I know sometimes I tend to take them out and then they become a point and that's not always the look I was going for. It's just, you know, where the brush took me. So I think we're gonna leave it as is. I like a little rounded out uh, type of an eye look where you don't go up so high either. You can see the brow bone, I, I like that. Um, now, let's see. Let me do, I'm going to do the lower lash line, and I guess, do I use the shade Royal again? Yeah, let me go in with the shade Royal on the lower lash line, and I'm just going to use that same BK Beauty 203 since it already has that shade on it. And you'll notice I'm not taking it too far in. 
All right, just like that. Okay, so now I guess we should go in with the shade Major. What do you guys think? I guess that's the one that best suits it, right? Okay, let's take Major. I'm going to take it on my finger, and then we'll use it with a damp brush. Ooh, that's pretty. This look is reminding me of a look that I did with the BH Cosmetics uh, Remix Dance Palettes, the 2001 in particular. Now I'm going to take that same shade Major, but on a damp brush. This is a Morphe M124. I'm just packing that here. I'm going to go back in with that matte black, which is called Smokin', just to make sure none of that got away from us. I like it. I like that I kept it small. <laughs> okay, so now for the... I actually I think I'm just gonna take major same brush and work that on the inner corner and the lower lash line. This turned out to be an easy look. Only three shades. Sometimes that's as simple as it needs to be. Now I'm gonna take major, which is the matte black, and I'm gonna use a refer 03 to kind of just tight line up here. On the lower lash line not taking it all the way in then I think I'll go in with like a purple liner for the um, lower waterline and just do my wet and wild breakup proof liquid at the top I'm gonna curl my lashes this is the new ref for eyelash curler one crimp one crimp that's all you need, guys. Look, I'm still trying to make this one from Lancome work. The Lash Idol, a doll. I don't know. I typically love Lancome mascaras. Like, there's not been a mascara that I don't enjoy, but this one, for some reason, just doesn't do it for me. Now for the lower waterline, I'm going to go in with this liner from Ellie Girl. This is the Shockwave Neon Liner, and I have the shade Vivid. All right, guys, and that is the completed look number one with the Buxom and Ash K Home eyeshadow palette. No problems, guys. Everything blended out pretty well. I like the tones and the vibrancy of the shades. And we only use three shades to get this look. Let's jump over to the left eye and start creating look number two. All right, so for look number two, I think, let's see, let's go in with the shade Unfiltered right here. And let's work that in the transition area. And I'm taking that on a BK Beauty 201. This is a fluffy blending brush. Now I'm noticing a little bit of kick up in the pan with this particular shade. Didn't really notice it too much with the other ones. Actually a little bit with royalty now that I'm looking at the pan. But not a lot. Like, there's definitely other palettes that give you way more kick up in the pan. <laughs> and when I posted this a palette on my Instagram, a lot of you said that you enjoyed the Buxom eyeshadow formula. So I went into this with high expectations, high hopes that I would be reviewing something really good. And so far, it seems to be living up to those expectations. All right, so just wanted to give that transition area a nice wash of color. Now I'm going to go in with the shade 1989, and I'm also going to be running that in the crease, but not taking it up so high. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a Refer 27 for that. All right, so that's a nice, pretty, like a rusty orange shade. Really do like that. And this shade blended out really nicely too. So 
Okay, now let's go into let's go into Rich Rich, which is a matte dark brown. And I'm going to take that on this one, Ref for 14. Just working that out here on the outer corner. Don't know how far I'm gonna drag it in but definitely just out here. I'm gonna go back in with uh, 1989, which is this orangey shade right here, just to kind of go over that a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back in with the first shade, which is unfiltered. All right, so I think we got a good blend going on up here. Now we need to decide what kind of shimmer, what shimmer shade do we want to do? Um, I guess we'll go in with stacks right here. And let me try applying that with my finger. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, really nice. Now I'm gonna go in with that little Morphe brush. Where is it? Here we go. Clean it off. And I'm going to wet it. Now let's go in with the shade 1989 and I'm gonna take that on a Refer 02. And I'm gonna start running that along the lower lash line. So far I haven't had any issues with any of the shades that I've been using and we've used, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades today. If I use another one right now. Alright, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Rich Rich, which is the, um, the dark brown, and I'm going to use that to tight line the lower lash line. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is a pale gold shimmer, and this one is called Living. I'm taking it on a damp Refer 03. Perfect inner corner highlight. Dragging it down a little bit. All right, so now let's apply some liner. I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my Koki Cosmetics. This is the um, shade Deep Brown and it's just a retractable pencil liner. No wing on this side either. Now for the lower waterline, I'm going to go in with another LA Girl Shockwave liner, and this one is in the shade Penny. This is like their new Metallics. I got this one at Ulta Beauty, but I don't know if they have this one in stock at the moment. But I know they have them on the LA Girl website. Alright guys, and that is look number two with the Ash K Holm and Buxom palette. Are you team neutral or team colorful? Now I want to add the lipstick really quick. Um, this is a liquid lipstick. It's Baba Baba Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick, and it is in the shade Wine Me. Uh, I tried this on yesterday, so it's not going to look that great with these two eye looks. But it was free, and we're trying it. It's a beautiful shade, but... Not for these looks. And you do feel the tingling effect because it is a plumping liquid lipstick. And I like that it's a shine, not a matte. I love little mini, mini lippies. Like they are the perfect size just to put in your pocket or like your little wristlet and go. Again, beautiful shade, not exactly perfect with the two looks, but. We're going to go for it because I'm doing as much buxom cosmetics as I can today. All right, guys, so now it's time to wrap up this video and give you guys my final thoughts. 
All right, guys, so let's talk first. Let's talk about what we used first. Um, the Buxom Staycation Vibes Rooftop Tan Bronzer. Again, I love the packaging. I think the packaging is really, really pretty. And I think the shade is perfect for my fair to light skin tone. I think even up to a light medium skin tone, this would be a perfect shade for. If you're medium and deeper, definitely go with the second shade they had available. But I think this is really pretty. Pretty. It's matte without being too matte. There is a slight sheen to it. Um, at least that's how it's coming through on my skin, and I absolutely love it. Again, it is primer infused, so it's supposed to last all day, maybe even through some splashes of water if you're going to take this to the pool, to the beach. I love it, and I think this might be the one I take with me on vacation. Um, also, the blush, the Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush. Um, I like it. It's super, super pigmented. I added just a little bit more on my cheeks uh, before I came back to do um, this ending and I love the shade. I have the shade um, Mykonos in this one. So it's the perfect little peach shade. Peach tends to go with a multitude of different looks guys. So if you're wondering what blush shade you should get, peach is a pretty safe bet. Now for the brand new Buxom by Ash K Home eyeshadow palette, again you're getting 12 neutral slash slightly colorful shades for $39. Ash K. Holm is a celebrity makeup artist and she is affiliated with Buxom. And I think this was wonderful. I loved all three products that I picked up from Buxom. And I think that this eyeshadow palette formula is fantastic. When I went outdoors yesterday to swatch all of these shades, they were so buttery smooth and they all swatched so well. I had no issues swatching any of the shades. So I knew I was going to be getting something special when I put it on my eyes and it did not disappoint. Of course, we went with a, a neutral look over here and then we went with a more fun pop of color smoky eye over here on the right. Um, I like that you can go either way with this palette. You can go completely neutral and just do like this shade in the crease and maybe one of these um, as your shimmer shade on the lid and call it a day, or you can start incorporating some of these blues and purples, uh, the coral orange shade there. I love it. I love that they gave us a matte black and a matte dark brown. Perfect, perfect color combination. I would have liked to have seen maybe these two shades, uh, something else, uh, maybe a deeper, like rusty toned shade instead of this one. I feel like these three right here are a little too similar. This one, this one is a shimmer, is that a shimmer? Yeah, that's kind of like a satin formula and then these two are mattes. So I think we could have done without one of them and added another shade, but oh well. Um, I will say these are two different looks than what I created yesterday. Yesterday I went in with a blue shade and it's a beautiful shade. It performs really well. And I also went in with this shade right here, Dynasty. That's a gorgeous shade. So I'll definitely be creating a few more looks with this palette, probably for my um, IG reels and YouTube shorts. But um, if you're wondering about the quality, it is spot on. If you're like me, you've never tried Buxom Cosmetics before, I would definitely pick up all three pieces. <laughs> that I tried today. The eyeshadow palette, the bl uh, bronzer, and the blush. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. Reasonably priced, you know, reasonably priced for um, the higher end section at Ulta. That is where I got all three items. And I will have everything that I used today linked in the description box down below. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So in case you do end up purchasing, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for two years strong. I am just so appreciative of all of you. I can't believe that this is my life. Hopefully one day, I would love one day if I could do this as full-time work because it is most definitely a full-time job and already having a full-time job makes it super chaotic, but it's fun at the same time. So as long as it continues to be fun, I'm gonna keep doing this for as long as I can. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.